Oh nein. Oh nein. I've got it on my phone in case anyone's wondering what the echo is. Just gonna wait. Just gonna wait. Oh. Hi. Right, I'm just gonna wait a minute until it's bang on five before I start. Um, because at the minute I think it's just me watching myself. I um before we start, just a disclaimer, I've got left back two stuck in my head, you know, the gallery walk around tune. It's a bang up by the way. Uh, cool. So it's five. People can just join when they want, it'll be on the webs. So cool. So you should be able to see both of my screens, assuming that I've managed to get this set up properly. Yeah, cool. So if there's any issues, like technical issues, please let me know because I think my laptop's struggling. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna give you a quick show of like what we have in the venues. So for anyone who's external, who isn't TSC. Um, <laughs> oh, hi John, by the way. Um, yeah, so anyone who's um, external, um, this is gonna be quite, uh, orientated towards um foundry and like what we have with our fixtures and our venue etc um so we have let me find i got some oh no well i had some photos but i don't anymore uh let's find them do 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 yeah so okay this is the bad boy that I'm using. It's the quartz. And I can't get the other one. So desks that are they're all Avo. So we've got this is the Tiger Touch one. I don't want to open that. So I'm using this simulator using Quartz software. Yeah, I'm using the Quartz the simulator. I'm using this desk. We have Tiger Touch as well. This is an older desk. It doesn't run version 11. So if you're if you're pre-programming for a show or something, you can't use version 11 because it won't work. You'd have to use I think version nine. Maybe, I'm not really sure. Um, there are other desks. We also have a mobile, but I couldn't find a good photo of that. Um, but that's basically this bit here, um, kind of without the screen, so you use it with your laptop. Um, yeah. Um, this one's slightly different because it's the older version, so it's got all the stuff going here. Um, this, on the bottom, of the quick screen this is the virtual panel so it's basically imitating um the bottom of the quartz um if you're not sure about how to download the software right here so there, there are links in the description this is the ava lights website um i'm using version 11.4 so just click download download it then you open Where it is, you have the Ava Lights folder, and then you open the simulator. Um, once you've opened the simulator, click whichever desk you're using. There's a few there, like the Sapphire, the Arena. The Octagon's got an Arena, but yeah, you know. It will then ask you for a simulator license. So um, if you click generate one, it will give you your computer key, type it into here, and then, um, so that's my one. Um, type it into here and then it will give you like a thingy that you can download and then you import it into your thing. Um, so, yeah. um, 
Um, cool. So I'm just going to give you a quick show of what this is. I'll just give you a quick tour because otherwise you might get lost with some of my jargon. When you open your desk, it will look like this. Um, so you've got this fixtures workspace and a groups workspace here. This is your workspace window. So this is where you change between uh, different workspaces. Um, I've already put mine so that I've got visualizer in it because I wanted visualizer, which doesn't seem to be loading, but you know, whatever. Um, and this one as well. There you go. Cool. Um, so where am I? Cool. If you guys don't understand what DMX is, I'm going to give you a quick little like tour. I've got like a little drawing. I need to get this way. So this is, oh my gosh, this is where we are. We're at the lighting console. The lighting console out of the back of it. Let me find this photo again. Come on. This one. This one, if you zoom in, this is a terrible photo, I apologise. But in the back of it, you've obviously got your like your power. Um this is for your wing, for an external screen. I don't know what they are. Um this is a Cat 5 6 port and these are 5 pin DMX and a MIDI pad thingy. So um the desk sends out DMX data, which is basically just a string of numbers. Um there's 512 channels channels of information and each of them has a value between 0 and 99 please do not fact check me on this because well it may not be accurate um but basically um yeah you send data from here out through into your lights and then they tell you what to do cool i probably shouldn't keep closing them but you know Anywho, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get to your desk is tell your desk what lights you have. So, oh no, I take that back. The first thing you're going to want to do when you get to your desk is sort out DMX settings. So to do this, you press the AVO key and the, sys the disc button. Um, I have to use uh the shortcut thing there you go oh no bear with <laughs> it is not happy when i do this okay. direct settings so i have to use like a soft key because i'm using the quartz software rather than so I thought DMX outputs. Oh, it's not coming up. Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on. Um, usually, a little thingy comes up. Oh, I know where it is. It's going to be in. Oh, no. Yeah, here you go. Um, so you would have this screen come up. So when you're patched in in the foundry, you'll have like hundreds of artnet things coming out from your Cat5. Um, I've got a list of what they are. Um, you have to find the right ones. Um, we use the Storm 8 ones and we've got eight different seven different universes that we regularly use in the venues so um the first universe universe zero is foundry dance floor then we've got two lines on stage um we've got one in studio one in fusion and then we've got the architectural lights i've got them all written down here um the one thing that you need to be careful of is um, that the DMX universes start at universe zero, but you'll usually put that onto line one if you want. So that can get kind of confusing sometimes. Um, so yeah, just something to be careful of. 
Cool. So I'm going to patch with visualizer. Um, so it's patch lights. You go down and in here you've got the patch button just here. Oh, I've got loads of comments. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so my mic was kindly donated by um, Airwick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you press the patch button. I've got short key. I can't, I can't find, it. find it. You press patch and then this will come up. Um, so you, these are the soft keys. Um, so you can patch dimmers, which are literally just one channel lights that can turn on or off or sometimes somewhere in the middle. Um, and then Ava Lights has got uh, a library of fixtures where they store the fixtures, I guess. Or like profiles for them anyways. Um, and that's just got inbuilt onto them. They're like on, off, pan, tilt. Um, just all of their DMX settings and stuff and what each channel does um, and changes. Um, so I'm going to start how I would in Foundry. So on our Foundry dance floor, we'd have um, Universe Zero, we'd have the first slot, which is um, Martin MH1s, MH1 profiles, these bad boys. Um, 70 to DMX, and we have six of them. DMX line one, cool. And then you just click where you want them, and they appear slowly, eventually. There you go. Um, and then exit out of there. So you press the exit button here. And again. And the next, the next lot of lights that we have are Rush Par ones no the threes come first so i'm just gonna search for threes we've got eight of them work them there and then last but not least pause rush part ones we've got four of them seven dmx made cool um before i patch these i'll show you up here you get how many there is so I've been bashing in how many we've got what DMX line they're on their address um I don't know what that is legend that's what they're like called on here um and patch them if you go into options there's uh different things you can do so you can have auto groups um which just generates these I should probably turn that off let's turn that off because I don't use these, they're useless. Um, offset, that's again auto-generated, so that's um, because each uh, fixture is um, seven channels of DMX, it automatically offsets them by seven so that they don't like clash and interfere. Um, you can also have fine fixture. Basically what that do does is if you're not sure about the address of a fixture, it pumps out a locate value to all of the, like to the fixture. So you can just double check that you're patching it in the right place because when you've got it into the right place, so if you change the DMX address, if I exit out of there, you can move the DMX address here using this up or whatever. Um, and uh, when once you're at the right address, it will like turn on to full. Um, so we've got four of those. Um, the other thing is my turn off. Um, preset palettes disabled and enabled um, on workspaces. Basically, all that does is it automatically generates like your palettes, um, which is I'll just press these. Oops. Uh, automatically. Okay. Um, so that automatically would generate like colours, um, gobos, positions. I don't tend to use them because I'm kind of anal about how I like my things to be set out, etc. But you know, if you're if you're in a rush, it's quite a good one. Um, cool. So that's like our standard um, uh, rig that we've got all the time. Um, yeah, so I could grab them, press locate, which is that button. You can see them on the visualizer. 
That's obviously not how they're set up, but that's how they've been put into the visualizer. Um, so yeah, cool. I'm just going to click there. Um, right. So what? What should I patch now? Cool. Um, I'm just going to do a very generic rig. Uh, actually, we've already got loads. Um, right. We also have we also have MH fives, twos, um, twelve gear bricks. I'm just going to patch everything that we have. Do max two. Right there. Uh, we have MH fives. Profiles, 16 DMX, let's patch six of them. Right them well. Uh, let's do a strobe because no lighting show is a lighting show without a strobe. Ours is always, um, uh, the fixture mode is always 5 DMX new when you're using our X5s. Um, I'm gonna whack four because I'm a Tuesday Club gal. Why not? Nobody's gonna have an athletic fit, I don't think. Um, what else? Uh, I think that'll do for now. Um, I can always come back and add more. Cool. Um, once that's done, if you were to need to address your lights, this is basically just telling the lights what information they need to read because if there's 512 bits of DMX information getting sent out to them then they don't want to have to like rifle through all of that and like read everything because your lights would just go bananas and like if you're if you're a certain somebody doing a um kids party then that might be the look that you're going for but if you have any self-respect that isn't so you press this button here, so you click on the fixtures workspace and you click this button here and it will come up with your addresses and you can go and address your lights um, or get someone else to do it for you, which is what, you know, whatever. Cool. So now you've got all your lights, you can see them all in the visualizer. Um, they're highlighted there. I'll go through and sort that out in a bit um, once I've made my groups. So groups, one thing to note is when you're making your groups, I'm just going to make a bunch of random ones. It's really easy. You grab the lights that you want, mark it where you want them, double click, it will come up with an auto generated name. Otherwise you can do it, tap it. Uh, you can put a picture in if you want, which will be in my other screen. Oh, hello, it's down here. Uh, what are these? Three. Oh! Enter. I've got a really dodgy mouse, by the way, so soz. Um, cool. Um, so this is how I want my groups to be set out. For example, I don't, but you know, for the sake of argument, if I press this, it kind of didn't work, but they're not in the order that they were in. The way to overcome that is to change this. So tap that and just make it slightly smaller. Oh no, I did it to everything. Oh well. And let's make that bigger again. Sorry. Perfect. Cool. I'm just going to click clear. I'm going to delete all the groups that I made because I don't like them. Bye. So just press delete down here. And then confirm up on soft key A, which is also this button. Just yeah, these are the soft keys, these correlate to these buttons. Um cool. So we'll start with the MH1s. Uh let's give them a picture. I'm gonna draw a little How sick is this? I'm using my like pen thingy because I've got a touch screen and it's doing like um uh like oh, I don't know words words man I shouldn't be doing this picture
Uh, where's my mouse gone? There it is. Uh, puff one. Cool. And then, oh my lord, where's that? I'll keep on this, losing it. Oh, it's two's work down there. And then MH fives. Okay, that one didn't work, but you know. And then strobes, put them down there. I don't know why. You know what? Probably ask. Um, cool. So you've got these. Um, you might also want to have like your odds and your evens or your lefts and your rights, etc. Um, there's an easy way of doing this, like just to save you the time, especially if you've got loads of fixtures. If you grab and hold, uh, no, wrong one. If you click and hold up here, oh, you can't, I can't do it like that, up there on the soft keys, um, you will see um, odd, even, one in three, one in four, random order in. Obviously you can't do it on this because I don't have two mice, um, but you, when you're using a desk, you just use different fingers. Um, yeah, I mean, I could probably use a shortcut, but I'm not going to. Um, cool. Yeah, sweet. Oh, let's go back to this one. Cool. So, I am going to sort out Visualizer before I do anything else. Um, I'm just gonna make this nice and small. Yes, yeah, so it's like there. Cool. Um, cool. So. To do this, if you press this one, soft key G, it says wheels equal level. At the minute, what that's doing is uh, turn it up, turn it down. Um, if you tap it, it could be fade time. I don't really use this. Then delay time, again, I don't really use this. Um, and then the last one is visualizer. Um, when I press position, which is the P here, also down here, you can see it's got a little blue light on it. These little round rolly thingies, um, I don't know what they're called actually, they correlate to these three. So if I, you can see they go this way, that way, etc. My thing's a bit glitchy, but you know. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, so I know that in our venues, all right, what I'm going to do, oh no, let's do it this way, hmm, I've forgotten what X, Y, and Z are, yeah, that's what I'm looking for, Q, okay, right, oh, you want to be going in, so the way that our venue is, is we've got, I'll just set it out. So this one, I'm just moving it so that that in deeper, um, there's an innuendo in there somewhere. Um, and then these ones are house left coming out. And these ones are house right again coming out. So they're going this way. Um, Press clear and exit. Um, if you go around to um, soft key F, press that one. You've also got capture visualizer settings, and that's just ruined everything. But you know, whatever. No, 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 you stay there. Cool. Um, in this, you can sort of move your thing around. So I'm just going to check that I've got everything how I want it, um, which I do not. But you know, let's move that. So they're all slightly slanty, so I'm just gonna move them oop on this way slightly. Cool. And then cool. Where's my mouse? There it is. 
Um, so MH2s, they're going to be on stage somewhere. Let's say it doesn't matter where. Um, let's put them on the floor facing up. I reckon. Preferably soon. If you press position again, um, you can orientate your lights. So I want them not like that. I'm just gonna go and tip that down to. Oh, why won't it do zero? That's annoying. Um, cool. Okay. There we go. I just want them facing up. That works. That's about right. Um, cool. MH5s, they're there. We're gonna do the same, but. Oh no. Let's press position again. Um, who's in there? Come on. Here, yeah, boy. Where are they going? I don't understand what I'm doing. There we go. Not there. Cool. Part three. Obviously, in an event, you wouldn't have to do this. I'm just doing it because I can. That's good to say. Cool. And then, last but not least, somewhere in here. Should be my pop. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's just move them up there. And then the X5s. Uh, where should we put them? Let's put them slap bang in the middle, right here. I don't know whether they're facing up or down or left or right, but we'll find out. Cool. So I'm happy with that. It's not like hugely accurate, but whatever. Um, let's just turn this back. So yeah, so we've got MH MH1s. Uh, MH2s going up and slightly sideways, MH5s going down, par 3s they'll be going straight down, nice little front wash kind of, straight down again um, and then X5s will be up right there, excellent, I'm just going to press clear, turn them all off, cool, let's go on to this one, excellent, um, I've done this wrong. So if you're if you're not happy with how your groups or anything set out, just press move. Um, grab the ones you want to move. Oh, and then move them. Cool. All right. First thing we're going to do is record intensity because I want to see what I'm doing. So to do that, I grab the fixtures that I want turning on, turn them on in here. And you can see here that this is now turned blue because I've changed it. Press record. Make sure for the sake of TSC, in this case, there are some uses for these, but we're going to use channel mode. I'll explain the difference. So basically, let's do this again. So I'm going to record, oh my gosh. I have no idea what just happened there. I'm going to do it again, I'm going to record it again, but I'm going to record it in fixture mode. What that does is it records every single thing about that fixture. So you can kind of see it here. So this one, only the eye is, the intensity is um, highlighted. Whereas in this one, everything's recorded. So if I go through, change some things about it, let's say, pan it and tilt it so that's going there apparently uh change it to green put gobo in it um set and i want to keep that i'm gonna put that there and i'm like oh yeah this this is the this is what i want at this specific time now if i turn that on right that's clear first so this one all it will do is just turn it on and off um although it's lagging sorry so this one will just turn it on and off. Whereas if I turn this one on, it'll also take it back to what it was when I recorded it in fixture mode. Um, that's useful if you want something like everything about that fixture saved, but when you're busking, you tend not to. 
what is what I found. So I'm just going to delete that. And by doing that, I just press delete and double clicked on it. Um, there's also, if you press record, another fixture mode, uh, another uh, record mode, and that's stage. And that records every single thing about every fixture in your show. So it would record what my image ones are doing, my image twos doing, fives, etc., without actually having to go through and change them all. Um, which again is useful, but not for what I'm trying to achieve. Um, cool. Uh, let me just delete that because I don't want that. Bye. Cool. So now that's on. Yay, we have lights. I'm just going to go through and nope, I don't want to change the gogos yet. Have you got any questions yet? What is a light? Um, I don't know, you're looking at one. What's an MH1? There you go. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of shade that I gave you at some point, somewhere. Cool. Uh, what am I doing? Let's start with the colours. What's the, how long have we been doing? Oh, it's half an hour. I'm almost through this. Um, have I missed anything so far? This MH Businesses. Um, no, I don't want to. Okay, so when you're recording palettes, um, you grab the group that you want to change, the fixtures or whatever, and then you go onto colour, let's just click it once, or you can click this button here, and then you can scroll through using either the up and down buttons, or these bad boys, oh gosh, it's going too fast for the visualizer to keep up, but you know, I'm going to use the clicky clicky clicks, um, so you start with open so the way that the way that you uh do it is you literally click it it will come up with a little red thing you can either at this point you can label it if you want to i can't be asked i'm just gonna click it again and it will just auto generate a color um and then just go and just go through do it really quickly um orange red and yellow and orange and i really oh if left back two wasn't um copyrighted i would totally have it playing right now if at home if you want this to be more interesting please just put left back two on and um just enjoy it really um cool mh ones have two color wheels so oh yeah so are these lights here let's put them on to index and take it up a little bit so you can't really see it too good you can a little bit so here you can see that it's got an, a green and an orange so it's basically because it's got a color wheel in it so it's got a white light at the back and then in front of that i can draw it actually i mean i didn't manage to steal the uh, big old light Cool. Don't judge my light. <laughs> Please don't judge me. Um, so yeah, so it's just got a light at the back. Um, this is an MH1, obviously, if you can tell. I don't know what's wrong with you. Then in front of it, at the top, it's kind of got a sort of pizza looking type thing. Oh my gosh, I've got pizza. Um, thing, which spins round. And then each of those has got like a different colour in. So it can have like a red one. Oh no, my pen doesn't work. You get the point. Um, MH2s have got two of them. Um, so yeah, that's 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 why you can do split colours. I'm not going to record any because CBA. Um, clear. Uh, just to go through, might as well. Mm, press colour again. So yeah, if you press colour again. It'll come up with the colour T. So this has more colours. Um, white, pink. It's got three thousand two hundred K, which is a CTC, which is good for skin color. Purple, yellow, green, 
I don't know why I'm recording all of these. This is another CTC, although in the visualizer it looks like blue, which is weird because that's what CTC isn't. Oh well. Um, cool. MH5s are pretty much the same deal. Um, they've got the same color wheel, but um, backwards because they are basically the same fixture but different. I know English. Where's my mouse gone? There. Okay. So again, I'm just going to record intensity up. Press record. I'm going to whack it there. And then press clear. Turn it on. Which is down here. Oh, cool. Let's turn these bad boys off. So you can see them there. Um, oh, wrong ones. Let's go for these bad boys. Cool. So go on to the color and you just scroll through. Um, this time, what you do is you press record and then you press on this one. Then it comes up with uh, cancel, mer replace, merge. Um, you want to merge it. Oh gosh, I don't know what's happening there. You want to merge it, so just double click. It does the same thing as pressing merge on soft key C or something. Um, so, sorry, man, okay. Um, cool. Um, what's the shortcut part for record? Alt R. There you go. So I'm just gonna go through and do that as fast as I can because. I think that works. Oh, okay. This one also has lavender, and the image ones don't have lavender. Oh, yes, it's working. Okay. Magenta. Some people like to call it pink, but they are wrong on so many levels. Don't even get me started on that. I will start shouting. Um, light green, because they, apparently there's dark green possible. Light blue, even though it's technically cyan, we're not going to get into that. This isn't a thingy about colour theory, this is about lights. Cool. Um, and same thing again with these ones. I can't be asked to do the both colour wheels um, because it's just the same thing over and over and over again. So, MH2s are slightly different. Um, they are color mix ones, they're additive color mixing, which basically means that um, they have, rather than having a white light at the back, they have got a red light, a green light, and a blue light at the back. And I think they also have a white light at the back as well. Um, and you can basically change the intensity of each of the lights to change the color. Um, where's the clip? Um, yeah, so if you whack this one, uh, and go on to colour. Cool. So it's these ones. Um, so yeah, you've got the white mix, and then if you press colour again, you've got the red, green, and blue mix. Um, these are macros, so they're just like preset colours. I tend not to use them because you, they act like a colour wheel, so they change like quite suddenly between them. You can't fade between them. And I don't really like that because sometimes I like to fade between colours. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to go. You can also get up uh, Attribute Editor, which some people like to use, which will now be down here, probably. Yep, there you go. I'm going to put you at the bottom over here because why not? Come. So this basically replicates what you're doing down here, um, attribute editor, and it comes up with a nice color wheel, so you can do it nice and quickly. I personally don't really use this, um, but for the sake of this being a visual demonstration, I will. Um, so yeah, you just do that, press record, and then just tap it where you want it to go. So you double click. Um, uh, pink, cyan, sorry, oh, ah. Uh, this one, lavender is like just off white. Um, blue, green, is that, oh gosh, what's that? 
orange. And then cyan, which is that one. And of course, white, which is everything up. Right that there. Cool. So same for the par threes, the par ones, and the strobes don't have colour mix on them at all. Doesn't have any colours. Um, we don't have any, but you can also have subtractive colour mixing, which is um, C C M Y K, which is this bit, this bit here. Um, so I'm not really sure how it works because I've never really used the fixture with C M K Y, but rather than putting colour in you have to take colour out um, so at the minute cyan's on 100 magenta's on zero and yellow's on, on zero and that gives you cyan um, and then dark blue is the mix of them I I haven't really used it so I wouldn't say I'm super comfortable with that um, so all of them is nothing yeah basically um, I don't really know what the benefits of using each are. Some people swear by one, some people swear by the other. Whatever. Um, cool. I'm going to say we're done with them. Uh, yeah, pause. Same thing. I'm not going to go through it again. It's really simple. You change the colour, you press record, and then you double click where you want it to go. It's basically the same thing for gobos and pretty much the same thing with positions as well um i'm just gonna turn this on how long have we been going just short of 54 minutes okay let's do some gobos and beams then so again if you come down here you press gobo i'm gonna press clear because the c you see it's blue that means that i've changed it so I'm gonna just press clear so that it doesn't, I'm gonna have to grab the group again, um, do it again. Basically, like, if you're having issues with your show or like whilst you're doing it and you realize that you've, like, every time you change the gobo, um, <sighs> blue pink yellow, every, every time you change your gobo back to normal, it also changes it to white. All that means is that you haven't pressed clear between recording, so, Press clear, record it again, you'll be fine. Um, it's the same for fixture mode. They're easy mistakes to make. Um, I'm just gonna grab our workspace window. Capture visualizer settings. Oh, I don't want you there. Let's put you on colors because we've just done colors. We don't need you. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, ooh. Nice. Please appreciate the fact that I put boxes in this. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like I need justification. So, uh, justification? Not justification. Whatever. Yeah, cool. So, gobos are basically the same thing as um, color wheels, kind of. Like, they work in the same way. So, if you take it apart. Oh, I've lost my drawing. Go back to this bad boy. Um, I can't see what I'm doing now. I've closed. Okay. So yeah. Um, rather than this like being oh going the wrong way, that being like uh some like coloured um gels, they're like pieces of metal with holes cut in them so that the light changes into that shape. Um, yeah. There's a few. Um, I tend not to use all of them. I only really use this one and that one and whatever. What I really appreciate about Visualizer is that they're all the same orientation because um, in real life they are not. Cool. So we start with open, which is Nobo, we like to call it. I'm just going to write it. No bow, because that's no go bow. Enter. Nice. And then go bow one. Uh, I'm going to do this one because I like it. I'm going to put it there because that's where I put it. 
Um, top tip, if you change this here to auto open, it means you don't have to open it every time. Um, yeah, it gets annoying when you're doing colours because you don't name them. But, you know, I don't like that gobo. Personally, let me use this one. Just quickly draw them. No, and then press enter. And last but not least, I'm only going to do these ones. Um, if you want, you can go through the little library of stuff. You know, find a beam that you like. Ooh, so many. <laughs> Fun. Smoke big, smoke medium, smoke small. Nice. Yeah. Star I'm really enjoying the fact they have star cloth. Yeah, anyways, this one's just a line, so I'm just gonna draw a little line. Enter. Um, I'm actually going to change the line slightly, so I'm going to change it because you see how they're all diagonal, I don't like that, so I'm going to change them, I'm going to change the index of them, and that just means their rotation basically, we're going to change it to there, and then press record, and double tap, and it'll merge in, it'll just um, change that, I'm just going to record those ones uh, for now, and then clear, clear that. MH5s, same with the colours, they've got the same crack luck and deal, so they've got uh, the same gobos, um, but they're backwards. Um, one thing that you do need to know about your gobos on your MH5s is I think there's a glitch with the software. Um, which basically means that you, I don't think it will show up in Visualizer because Visualizer doesn't have all these kind of glitches. Um, but if you uh, go on to fix spin and click no spin, um, you need to make sure that this is highlighted. Uh, wait, no, I've got that wrong. You need to make sure that fix spin is highlighted. You want it blue because otherwise when you want to make it spin, it just ain't gonna work. Um, so yeah, let's start with no bow again. Oh, I wish I had a desk in front of me, make everything so much easier. And then go bow one. Again, I'm gonna, I'm actually, oh no, I can't, yeah, I can't, I can't fix, fixed index this thing, which is annoying. Uh, the, the, uh, I don't like that one. And this one. Oh, R and cool. Um, cool. So since we're on it, I'm just gonna press clear quickly. Let's put them all onto the liney boy. Um, I'm gonna grab them both because let's do it together. Why not? And then I'm gonna change it to, I don't think Visualizer's gonna be able to cope with this. There we go, oh, oh it is. No, it looks like they're slightly different. And uh, oh my gosh, what is going on? Let's take it back. Okie dokie, let's try that again. I don't know what just happened there. I have a feeling it's because I haven't paid for this. So they sometimes spell out random DMX um, to stop me using it without buying a thingy. Um, there you go. So I've got fixed spin and spin 100 thing. I'm gonna work that there and I'm just gonna call it spin 100. or spin fast or just fast, I don't know. It depends what I feel like on the day. And I'm also gonna do uh, no spin or nin, we like to call it sometimes. Um, you can also do like slower spins. You can put it on fader as well, which is what I like to do. And you can have clockwise spin as well. But we're just gonna put no spin and spin 100 
because otherwise it'll get very repetitive and I'm not actually going to busk a show with this so you know let's do the same thing for the MH5s I'm just press clear first though um MH5s I do the same thing let's put it on no spin press record double tap Bob's your uncle What is going on? I don't know whether this is a visual editing or what, but it's just not working for Clara today. Yeah, um, I'm not entirely sure what's going wrong with this. I do have a feeling that it's just visualizer. Um, but you know, that's how you do it. Uh, you can see they're having a party, but the MH1s aren't, uh, MH5s aren't, cool. Um, similarly, sim similarly, sim, sim, rather, um, they do have two grey bow bills, um, I'm just gonna put them on no bow first, and then they have more, um, I really like that one, and you can overlay them as well, so you can have that one, as well as, that one just to add some extra functionality. Um, if you have a look, I'm just gonna change appearance. I'm gonna turn the smoke density up a little bit. Let's put it up to 60, because why not? I'm a Tuesday Club girl. Um, I'm just zoom in. Oh, I want to zoom in. Oh, you know, whatever. Well, you can kind of see the beams. Um, I don't know if it will change it in Visualizer. We'll find out. Not really. No. Um, but you can change the focus of it um, using the beam attribute here um, and change it. This has an effect like when you're looking at the beams more than anything. Um, yeah. They're fun to do. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, MH1s have got irises. So you can make them, let's put it on maybe first, make them like super tiny, um, more like an actual beam rather than a profile, or you can make them big. It depends what you want. I'm just gonna press locate because that will just clear everything out of the programmer. Um, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to do gobos again. If you press effect, they've also got prisms. The splits, this is like a little like thing of glass with like a prism shape in it and it just splits it into three beams. Um, you can make it spin or you can make it not spin and you can turn it off. Um, let's just do uh, no spin. And then spin 100 and then open. Cool. Uh, and you do the same thing again on the MH5s. Um, yeah, they're up there. You can see I'm going for the last. So I'm just gonna record that over. So again, press record, double tap you want it, change what you want, press record, double tap you want it, and then same again. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I've been going quite through this quite fast, um, because why not? Uh, what's the time? Do you have any questions? Starcloth is the best. Ooh, sorry snob. Oh, I just activated Siri by saying, oh, <laughs> I changed my Siri to have like um, an Indian accent. It is the best thing I've ever done. It doesn't look like I've got any questions. 
Although I am on like, I'm delayed from live by about a minute. Not purposefully, but you know. Cool. Uh, I've done it for, okay. I'm gonna leave it here for today. Um, I reckon because I've already been at it for like an hour and you know, whatever. Um, yeah, Do you, I'll wait a minute, see if you have any questions. Nah, maybe you already know everything. Pfft. Yeah. <laughs> Do you though, Tom? I've seen you up lights before, hun. Like, it is a bit ropey at best. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, I, I reckon um, Visualizer sends out random DMX every now and then. Anywho's, um, cool, I'm gonna call it a day. Um, I'm gonna save it, if you press disk, I'm going to press save as, um, what should I call it, let's call it TSC live stream, oh gosh, I've got caps lock on, live stream, okay, enter, um, once you've saved it with a name, you can double tap system desk and it will save it, uh, I think I'm pretty happy. Yeah, no, I'm going to call it a day for now. Um, I will come back this time next week. And <laughs> um, this time next week and continue where we left off. So we do positions, go into some like chases, etc. If you have any specific requests, for what you want me to do, or if I've missed anything, let me know. I'll do it. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, over and out. Bye! Ugh. Oh, this was going to be so smooth, but it isn't because I lost my mouse and I have like three different laptops in front of me. So, okay, bye.